Hello confirmation parents, sponsors, and students. Today we're going to go over what the confirmation program has in store for you this year. What is expected from parents, the sponsors, and also the students. The program has five elements to it. The first one is um, the one where the parents and students come in and have a dialogue with father and myself. During that time, you'll come in and just have a regular conversation with us where we'll ask you a few questions and just get to know you. There's no right or wrong answer during this time. It's just a conversation. Um, we'll meet with you and there'll be two to three other couples in the room. So it's not just you by yourself. So there's no reason to be nervous or intimidated. Some of those conversations at St. Martin have already begun. and. Um, Yours for $7 and St. Anthony will be at the end of October and the beginning of November. So those are already put on the calendar. The second element is the learning centers. These learning centers are done so that you and your parents, uh, candidate and parents, have some bonding time so that you can sh parents can share their faith with their students or their, their children as well. Um, the program is really formed for the students to be able to find some bonds and be able to um, hear about other people's experience in their faith. So during the learning centers, um, the parents will be able to do that with their, with their children. A nice time where it's, if you have multiple children, you know that it's hard sometimes to just find that little bit of time with your own child. So it'll be with the one child at a time. So this gives you that time to do that um, with your with your child. That will happen in December here at seven dollars. Um, those stations will be set up for about a week, and I'll have a sign up sheet for everybody to come in and fill out that time time frame. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to get through all the stations, but it's just a nice two hours to be able to have with your with your child. The biggest element of the confirmation year is the time that they will spend with their sponsor, which is element three, the sponsor time. They have six sessions that they will have to do with their sponsor. In that time, the sponsor will spend time um, developing a relationship, um, providing some feedback on their own faith, and to enhance the involvement of the Catholic Church community. Going to church with each other, sharing that relationship that just draws each of them both closer to God. Um, they start, at, you have a guide. It's not something that, oh, the sponsor has to think of uh, these spontaneous uh, ways to share their faith with the with their candidate. Um, but it is somebody that has to, has to have that time that they can put aside um, at least once a month to spend. And actually, since we're getting started a little late, you might have to make up some of that time um, maybe twice a month for a month or two, uh, to make sure that they have that time to be able to spend with the candidate. Um, because they do have to get through a packet and they do have to get through some of that information and try to get into a service project in, in together, you know, going to a food shelf together or some kind of service out there at this time. Um, I know service at this time is a little hard to find, but we're always looking for help at the food shelf. They're always looking for help at Mother Seton House, um, Mother Seton a store here in Albany as well. So I'm sure if you look into your community, you'll be able to find some places to do some service. So that's the third element. The fourth element is the confirmation retreat. And this allows the students to be able to um, share their faith with their with their um, peers. Uh, they go to school together, and but it's a time for them to really share the faith together. So they'll do some faith activities together for an afternoon. Um, that retreat date, I, I want to say right now, is going to be January 9th or 10th. It'll be that weekend. Um, is so on Saturday or Sunday. The, the date has not been set yet. We're still working on that. Um, for some COVID reasons, we have to make sure that we stay in um, the regulations of the diocese and the, the CDC and all that. So um, we'll keep you updated on where that takes us. Element number five is the actual um, liturgical celebration of confirmation. 
We don't have that data at this time, but we will get that soon. They're just finishing up the confirmations from last year. So um, the diocese, I know, will have those dates out soon. They are working on them. And when they get them, they always send them out. Um, I don't know if the whole Harvest of Hope will celebrate together this year. Uh, we, we didn't get to this year. Um, which was sad because at one time I wasn't I wasn't able to I know it's not about me, uh, but at one time I wasn't be able to um, go to um, St. Benedict's because I needed to be at St. Martin's and so I, I missed one of the confirmations this year. So um, it'd just be nice if we could all be together in one in one church. But we'll see what the diocese says this year. So this evening, everybody was going to be given out a packet. And in that, in that packet, we'll give you all the information that you need through for, for the entire process of the year. And the one thing that you will have is this packet. It is, um, it's called the sponsor process. And these are the dialogues that you'll have with your sponsor. So it always has that you start out with prayer and then it gives you, um, that you should start out with prayer and then there's the core content of the whole the of the session and then some reflection and discussion questions and then some additional activities that you could do with your sponsor and I always like that first one because it's like the first time you meet somebody like what are those things that you would like to talk about so you'll talk about your favorite songs or movies or musical groups and and it's just really get to know that person. I mean, it could be your aunt or your uncle or um, a cousin or some kind of relative, but you never really sat down and talked about those kind of things. So it's really interesting to be able to have that kind of conversation that you might not have had before that day. This packet, you, you have one copy of this packet, but um, I will also have this up on our website too. So if you ever need another copy, it will be there. Um, don't go look for it tonight because it's not there yet, but um, there will be a section on our website for confirmation. So any of these papers or any other thing that I say, oh, refer to the website, there will be a section on the website that you can go to to find everything that we'll be talking about. Um, the other one is everybody gets to pick a confirmation name. Now, remember, throughout your entire time that you've been in faith formation, we spend time talking about saints and um, the lives they lived and the things that they did for their faith. Some were martyrs. Um, they died for their faith. Some we pray to because we lost things like St. Anthony. So and then some are, you know, our guardian angels during uh St. Hubert, you know, he's the patron saint of uh, hunters. So there are certain ones that we just know very well. Um, at one point, you'll have to write a paper on one of them, uh, one that really has meaning to you. So it could be a, a saint that is your grandfather or your grandmother's name, but you have to tell me about that saint, the the actual person that was the saint, and then you can relate it to the to being your grandmother's name or your grandfather's name, and why you picked that, and it because it was your grandmother or grandfather's name. Um, so you actually have to do the research on who that saint was and what they did and and what their life accomplished. That it's on a pur purple piece of paper. It tells you the due date. It tells you a little bit about how to write the paper. This can be emailed to me. It's it's simple. I could even put up a link um, so that you can write it right there and just send it right in like a Google form. We'll make that easy and simple for you to get done. Um, this way you don't have to come in and drop it off or anything. It'll be simple on the computer. One of the main forms that I need back um, right away, just because I used it throughout the entire time um, for many reasons, is the candidate's information form. And it's a bright orange paper this year. Um, and it's the candidate's name, phone number, and email address. The process that we go through this year is really all on the candidate. The candidate is saying yes to their faith. So they should really be in control of, oh, I need to make sure I have this day off of work because this, I need, I need to make sure I'm at this group. Um, I need to make sure I have this Saturday, Sunday off because I'm going through the right of enrollment. 
they need to take charge because this is their faith. This is going to be what they practice. This is their life. So I like to be able to make sure that I set, I am sending them the email saying, this date is for this. You need to do this. It doesn't mean that I won't be in contact with parents because the next line is the parents' information and the parents' email and the parents' phone numbers. I like those because I know sometimes it's hard to get dates and times and everything out of your kids. So this way it keeps us in communication as well. And then I like to keep the sponsors up to date too. So the sponsors will get that information as well. Um, so I like to have all of that. And I like to check in with sponsors every once in a while and say, hey, how's it going? How is Joe doing with with um, contacting you? Um, it is the it is the confirmation student's job to get in contact with the sponsor. It's not the sponsor's job to keep after the candidate. So students, you have to make sure you reach out to your, your sponsor and say, hey, do you have time this week to meet so that we can do the confirmation packet? Please make sure you're the one doing it. It's your responsibility. You're being confirmed, not your sponsor. So that's why I like these, because I like to keep track of, of, of the students. I want to make sure that they're really looking forward to what they're taking on and looking forward to um, taking control of their faith. It's finally theirs. You, they're going to be living this out. So let's let them do it. Let's have them take control of it. So I need this back. Um, uh, if I haven't met with you yet, I like that back as soon as possible. Um, if we, if, so you can even take a picture of it and and just give it to me through a text message. You can take a picture of it to me and send it to to me through an email. But I need this back in, immediately after um, you find your confirmation sponsor. The other form that you will get in your packet is going to be on a white piece of paper. It will have all the dates you'll need to know. There are a, there are quite a few um, just because they fall into line with the confirmation. Um, a lot of them have to do with things that we've already talked about. The first one is your right of enrollment, which for um, St. Benedict is November 29th, and that's the same for St. Anthony, and these are done during Mass. So um, November 29th for St. Anthony, November 28th at 5 o'clock for um, $7, and then for St. Martin, October 25th at 9.30 Mass. So if you can't make it to one, uh, the one that's for the parish that you belong to, you could make it to one of the other ones. So you just have to let us know so that we can make sure your name gets read. Uh, it'll have the dates on it for the mini retreat, the, um, the stations with your parents. It will have when your papers are due. It will have um, the retreat for um, the Harvest of Hope. And then I also ask that everybody at least make it to one penance service this year. We always offer two. You have to make it to at least one. Um, it's nothing like going through a year of not having a penance service or not going to one. It's always nice to make sure that you get your soul clean once a year. Uh, right of sending happens um, right before, right before um, Easter. And so it's like close to the end, right before you're confirmed. And we are sending you off into the world and sending you off saying, yes, we've we've noticed that you've gone through the process and it's now time to sign the book saying, yes, I, I am agreeing to become Catholic and finish the um, finish sealing with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So that's in March for um, for many of us. I don't know all the dates. It'll be on the white form. You will have some faith formation sessions, and these are just some, some classroom sessions to make sure that all your questions are being answered. Because again, this is all about the students and making sure that they get the answers they want this year. So the classroom sessions are on um, what you really want this year. So when I, you come in with your parents and have that dialogue, I listen very close to those dialogues. What are you still looking for? What have you been in classes for for the last nine years and still are looking for answers to? And I listen to those and then I base my um, talks 
or classes on those things that I pick up during those conversations. So th that's another reason why those conversations are so very important to me, because I like to make sure I get to know the parents and the students, but also what you're still looking for um, as, as a group, as students, as people who are still building their faith and learning about their faith. So um, those will be on that, that white sheet as well. I always ask that students participate in Holy Week. Um, sadly, last year, nobody participated in Holy Week. We haven't talked about Holy Week in um, our liturgy committees yet, so I'm not sure what Holy Week looks like for us yet. Uh, so that will be on our radar. It's not on your paper yet, so there will be some, some more dates that will be added. And again, like I said, we don't know the date for um, confirmation yet. So just know that confirmation date will be added to the to the white sheet and confirmation practice will be added to the sheet. Um, so other than that, um, everything would be found on the website and that will be on the white, white sheet as well. So this evening you're going to be taking away with you the six six sessions that you'll do with your sponsor, all of the information that you'll need throughout the, the rest of the process, and then the um, candidate information sheet that I'll need back. And then you'll have the folder and then we'll just go from there. Um, my information's on the sheet. You can get, get a hold of me through uh, my work number or through email. Um, and so any questions that you have between now and then, um, feel free to ask. And then I'm also available if you need and have any questions um, later on through the process. Uh, I will be happy to answer them and let me know if I can be of help helping you find a sponsor. That's the other thing. If you feel like your sponsor is not um, working out, um, you, you need to let me know right away. Um, if it's too hard for you to tell your sponsor that it's not working out, I have helped people in the past to um, make that ease and make that change um, very easily and make that um, an okay transition and then get you caught up with a new a sponsor. Um, if you need help finding a sponsor already, please let me know. I'm happy to do that. There's always people in the parish that are always honored to do that job. So uh, just let me know. And I will talk to you all soon, and I wish you all the best. Prayers and peace. Bye.